special guest appearance, Philip Ziggy. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll talk about my Rolex watch. You have previously requested that I record this video and review the watch for you. By the way, if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell button so you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Please also feel free to check out my playlists. I have weekly vlogs, luxury shopping, jewelry, travel vlogs. I also have lots of videos about Chanel bags, style and fashion, beauty products and Dior videos. I had this watch for about four years and I use it all the time. And this is the original box. I will show you what it came with. And I hope that you will find this video useful. <laughs> I bought this watch in Singapore and I remember how I bought it. I went to store during the lunchtime. I was so stressed at work and I picked it up and I worn it ever since. It's been four years and I really love this watch. It's my absolutely favorite. Back then I used to wear lots of white gold and it was my first two-tone item but I'm so glad that I got it because now I'm obsessed with yellow gold and I actually like to mix metals. By the way, this watch is in a size 31 and I showed it in some of my other vlogs which I will link down in the description box below in case you guys want to check them out. Later in this video I'll talk about both pros and cons of this watch and we'll try to answer your most asked questions, so please stay tuned. I had to shorten the bracelet of this watch because it was way too long and I still have the additional links which I will show you in a second, it's here in the box. I can still add them anytime I want to, I don't think I will have to but yeah, they are still here with me. I had to remove a few links. I didn't want to make this bracelet too tight, but yeah, it's more comfortable now. It also came with this. I don't know what is it. I think it was on a watch, but I keep everything just in case. And I even have the old tag. I was also given a travel pouch and it also comes with the cleaning fabric just to, to wipe the watch. It doesn't polish it or anything, but it's good to have it. Both are in the same shade of the green. And there are some more items in the box. Let me show you in this section. Okay, let me take it out, all of them. I think this one is a receipt the original receipt. I picked it up from the official Rolex reseller, the store in Singapore in City Hall. And I don't believe the price of the watch has went up by so much. I think it's pretty much the same actually, which is quite upsetting because I kind of expected the value to go up, but it's still very much the same as four years ago. Oh well. <laughs> These are some care instructions and I also have another fabric to clean the watch from this store where I picked it up from. And I have this warranty card. It has all the details, the date when I bought it, the name of the store. It's international so I can go to Rolex anywhere else in the world and they will accept it and fix it for me if there are any issues. I never had any issues with it. I serviced this watch only once because I wanted to remove some scratches from the bracelet. And it's so hard to see the scratches on this bracelet because of its shape. I think if it was more flat and shiny, for example, like Cartier Love bracelet, you could see every single tiny scratch, but because it's more round, it's perfect. 
After wearing this watch for four years, I would say that it's very carefree. You don't have to stress out about anything. There is no a single scratch on the dial and I have to say I wasn't very careful with it. And that's why I love it so much. This design is just so timeless. It never goes out of style. And I always try to go for timeless designs, classic items, whether I'm buying shoes, watches, bags, clothes. I just want to make sure that the item that I choose to spend my money on is always going to be relevant and it won't be evident when it was purchased, whether it was bought this year or five years ago. I have to say that this design is very recognized. People will know it straight away that you're wearing a Rolex watch. I always get compliments that people like my Rolex watch. They always seem to know it. They don't always know the size. They cannot guess the size, but they know that it's from Rolex. The watch feels very comfortable on my wrist. It's not very heavy. I think the size is really perfect for me and the clasp is really nice it's so easy to open and close it no problem it never opened up i never had any issues with it at all and i will show you in a second how i usually wear this watch i usually like to pair it with my justin clue it looks pretty good and they don't scratch each other I also like to wear it with my Cartier Love bracelet. I do like this look a lot. They don't really overlap and scratch each other. It's pretty perfect. The only bracelet that can scratch my watch is the VCA bracelet, but I don't wear them very often together. I prefer to wear it with Cartier items. I'm very glad that I got this color combination. It works perfect with all my accessories and I know that I will be wearing this watch forever. It's really beautiful and it's so timeless. I guess the only disadvantage that I would name about this watch is that it has a warranty for five years, which is actually quite long because some brands have it for three years. But then again, after warranty, if you were to go and fix it, it's gonna cost you at least 1,000 Singapore dollars. And this is what I was told at the service center when I send it for checking and polishing, which is quite a lot, to be honest. And sometimes I wonder how do people buy this watches pre-loved? Imagine if you buy it and something happens to it and instead of saving money on this item, you will end up paying so much more to fix it. At least when you buy it yourself from the store, you know there's no issues, you have the warranty for five years and you know how it's gonna be handled, it's you looking after it. You don't know what the other person did with it before and you don't know what kind of issues it can cause in the future. So it's just my viewpoint about buying this pre-loved. I would only consider getting a watch pre-loved if I knew a person I'm buying it from. For example, if it's my relative or a friend and I know how they typically handle their items, that they're very careful with them. In that case, I would go for it. Other than that, I would only buy from the store. And another disadvantage that this watch has is that the price never goes up on it. It seems like it doesn't go up in four years. So I don't think this watch will have the value just like for example Chanel bags because of the price increase. You kind of can make money on it if you sell it and if it's in excellent condition and if it's a popular item. I don't think that's the case with the watch. But then again, I didn't buy it to resell it. It's just nice to have this option. Other than that, this watch is absolutely perfect. I love it so much and I highly recommend it. This is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you did, please consider giving it thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!